Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video it's going to be a quick pack opening of the new um, Grand Nightlife packs. They're not so new because Bioware always brings them back sometime around and um, and recently we have the Galactic Legends packs available for 750 cartel coins. Those are no longer available anymore and rather we have they have been replaced now with the Grand Nightlife packs. These will be on the cartel market from Friday all the way to Tuesday. So I wanted to do a quick pack opening to let you guys see some of the drop rates and really kind of judge whether it's worth it or not to pay for these because they used to cost 1,000 cartel coins. Bioware has released them in the past for that price. Now they decide to discount it down to 750, which I'm pretty happy about. If we look at the actual description of items, it contains um, assorted goods from previous nightlife shipments. There are only two previous nightlife shipments, the Star Cluster Nightlife Pack and the Club Vertica Nightlife Pack, which do contain actually some really nice stuff, which is one of the reasons I'm doing a pack opening. Uh, it contains an increased chance at one silver or better bonus item. Uh, it contains one rare or better bonus item. That just means it's going to be some bronze crap or something. And then you have a small chance at maybe getting something better. One expanded die module kit, which once again isn't too good because uh, the dies just in general, you can buy them off the GTN for very cheap prices. There's really no rare die, and I don't think it even gives you a chance at getting like the white or black dies. So um, that's not really going to be worth it. And then it contains one major or minor XP boost, which no one really cares about. So what we're going for here is something really good with that increased chance at one silver or better bonus item. So I'm going to buy up five of them and we'll open up five. And um, one quick kind of note is uh, when they released this back in the day, there was some sort of glitch or something where the drop rates were crazy uh, good. So apparently they had released it for 1,000 cartel coins. A few people bought it right when it was released. Let's make sure I have five here. One, two, three, four. I do have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we'll return one of these. Um, anyways, as I was saying, apparently the drop rates were just a little bit messed up. So the people who opened it right when they had released it got like two lock cords armor set like crazy. Like someone said they opened 10 and five of them were two lock cords armor set. And so I'm kind of hoping maybe the drop rates are messed up here and we can get lucky, but probably not. Um, so we'll open up a pack here. Come on, something good. Ooh, looking like it's cold. We have the, oh, that's just gonna be expanded die module clip. Ah, this is actually one that I've been wanting, the Karnas Moor armor set, looks very nice. Um, now this is back in a day when they actually put some effort into silver armor sets and they would bring back these old Kotar characters and just give us their armor sets. This is really the golden days when we had some really nice stuff. And as I mentioned, the bronze item is usually going to be some sort of crappy thing that doesn't sell for anything. Uh, the expanded die module kit won't really contain anything good, but we'll open those later. So the Connor Smoke's armor set, that's not bad, but probably not going to fetch an amazing price on the GTN or anything. Ah, here's a really good one. Wow. The Euphoric Corellian's armor set. This one sells pretty well, actually. And then the Mandalorian Clansman's armor set. Uh, personally, I don't know. This, uh... It's a gold armor set, so can't really complain. But then again, they have reskinned these armor pieces uh, time and time again, giving it to us sometimes as just regular PVE armor, not even cartel market armor. But still, anything Mandalorian tends to sell pretty well in GTN for those role play characters and, and other stuff. And then the Euphoric Corellian. This is actually pretty good. So far, so good. Let's see if the luck holds up. And another Carnus Moore's armor set. Okay, and then the advanced yellow core eviscerating crystal does not sell too well. Uh, none of these crystals sell well. It doesn't really have any good crystals. All right, and then another Carnus Moore and another U4 Corellian. So it seems like a lot of repeating items, which is uh, shouldn't really happen considering um, there's a lot of items out of these nightlife packs. So I, I don't know, maybe just something's messed up with the RNG, or maybe that's just they messed with it so that those were very common drops in these packs. Oh, it's going to be gold. Come on, something good. Yes! That is awesome. Probably one of the best items to drop out of this pack, aside from the two-law quarter armor set. The Dathomir Ranker, the rarest Ranker in the game. Uh, probably none on the GTN right now. And then the Droid Officer Transport, which is pretty awesome. Wow. Very lucky pack opening. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it's... it's um. Okay, claim stack. These contain some really nice stuff. Like even some of the stuff that wasn't too nice, like the Droid Sidecar or the Euphoric Krillin armor set, still sell for pretty good prices because they are very, very nice. And a lot of people like to, um, a lot of people just like them. So looking at these, I never opened these before. We have the secondary white dye module, pale purple. Nothing too good. Um, then some crappy bronze dyes. These won't sell for anything, guys. Just if you want to buy them off the JTN.
bronze, bronze, and um, yeah, so nothing too good. Don't be looking to get anything too good. I'm not sure if that secondary white dye module would sell pretty well. Let's check some of these prices on the GTN. So, um, okay, let's go. Dathomir Rancor. As you guys can see up here for 15 million credits, so pretty good. That's about the most you can expect for a mount if it's not like a command throne or something. Mandalorian Clansman. Normally I don't have that kind of luck with the getting the Dathomir Rancor. That definitely made it worth it. Uh, okay, let's see if the armor set. Uh, see the upper body is here for 8.5 million. We don't really have a helmet, so it's going to be around, I don't know, maybe the 5 to 10 million credit range. I don't really see it even selling that high of a price, but, um, but not bad at all. Then the, we got the Droid Officer Transport. This one's an old mount, even though it's silver, and um, there's a lot of like these types of Droid Transports. Ah, we don't have one, it seems. Maybe I spelled something wrong. Nope, so there's actually none on the GTN. That's pretty awesome. What was some of the other stuff we got? We got the Euphoric Corellian. None? Interesting. So I'm typing with one hand because I'm holding the mic up with the other. Here we go. So you have the Euphoric Corellian's armor set up here. Okay, that's 75 mil, but um, but you could buy the other stuff. Here you have the the tunics all the way up here at 17 million, and then the other stuff is like ranging in the million credit range. So a very expensive armor set. And I know people actually like to buy this one. Okay, I'm forgetting what some of the other stuff we got. Mandalorian Clansmen's. Let's go new. Uh, okay, that's not going to sell for anything. I'm not even going to check up the dies. They won't sell for anything. And we actually got two of those. That's pretty good. And then the Carnus more. Yeah, three of them popped out of this pack. This doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, there's just so many items that were in the pool or should have been in the pool. So it doesn't make sense that I would get three of the same Carnur. Carnus. Is that how you spell it? No, probably not. All right. Well, I know this is how you spell his last name. So there we go. Um... Yeah, decent prices. Uh, the, oh, the lower robes are only 580k. For an old armor set, that's pretty low, but the upper body is up here at 5 million, which is a very nice upper body armor. Look at that. Looks pretty nice. You know, I actually might just unlock one of these for myself. And then the upper body, uh, the full entire armor set's here at 14.9 million credits. Let's see if I'm missing anything quickly from the Pack Explorer. Um... I got three of those, so that's uh, actually made me a ton of credits. So yeah, actually a really lucky pack opening, I'd say. Even though I did get so many repeats, um, I don't know, like they were good stuff. Sells for a lot on the GTN. Uh, should I open a few more? I'm actually just thinking about opening a few more because that was a little weird getting those repeats. And also, let's just see if the luck holds. I mean, what happened to all the other stuff in the packs? Who knows? We'll just open two more and we'll just see if, um, if it's the same kind of thing. Because I want to give you guys a good, you know, kind of look at what actually comes out of these packs. Um, oh my goodness. Two lock cords armor set. You know, this actually might be happening. It might be something like, because um, I got the Dathomir Ranker and two lock cords armor set in under 10 packs. Maybe the orange is messed up right now. And because um, that happened last time, I'm telling you, uh, someone uh, showed me an image of themselves getting like five two lock cord armor sets. Just because when Byrer put the pack up on the cartel market, something was messed up with the RNG that people were getting these gold items or having a really good chance of getting them. But I don't know, from this pack opening, it seems like these are definitely worth it. Uh, probably not as excited as I should be because I've gotten so many of the two lock cord armor sets from like the Dark Crystal Light packs and stuff. But no, that is insane. That's like 50 something million credits right there. And let's see if um, we get something good. Okay, yeah. Now this is an example of a crappy opening. Uh, the Vectron and the Advance. So if you, got a, if you bought a pack and you got this, that would suck. But as you guys can see, that's actually in the minority. Usually you actually get something really nice from these packs. And um, wow, the Tula Court armor set. Let's see what that's going for. It's going to be like 50 million credits. Ah, yeah, well, 139 million, but you could probably get the individual pieces of the armor set for uh, much cheaper. See the gauntlets and stuff are up here, like 10 million. Uh, the upper body armor is at 34 million, and the supplementary body armor is at 68 million. So no, it's definitely up there in like the 100 million credit range. So that is insane. 
Anyways, uh, I have to end this pack opening because I have class in like 15 minutes and I really got to get ready. However, I do hope you guys enjoyed the pack opening video. I would definitely stamp a big worth it stamp on this. Like this pack opening, if it's an indication of what the drop rates are actually like, then this is definitely worth it. I don't know, maybe Bioware actually, hold on, my mic shut off here. Okay, sorry about that, my mic shut off. Um, yeah, if it's an indication of what these drop rates are actually like, this is so worth it. I mean, look at that. The Dathomir Ranker, two log cords armor set, even the silver stuff sells very well on the GTN. Um, and I only had one pack out of these where it was really bad, where I got that mount that you see here and uh, crystal, which won't sell for anything. But for the majority of the other packs, very, very much worth it. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do decide to open these, I wish you all the best of luck. May the force be with you, and I'll see you in the next one.